What's going on guys? Blake Melvin here, Uncut Kitchen. Today we're gonna to make chicken tinga. All right, cool. So you need two chicken breasts. You need some beautiful chicken broth. Got some good shit here. A pot, rip that open. So four to five cups. I'm just guessing there. Yeah. Heat on. And now we've got half a brown onion cut up, throw that in there. And we've got one carrot cut up as well. And one bay leaf, boom. All right, so this is just starting to heat up there. Chuck our chicken in. 20 minutes, all right? Get your timer going. And then we'll make the sauce. A few moments later. All righty, our sauce. And then another little deep pan there. About a cup worth of chicken stock. And then we've got some diced tomatoes, a can. Try not to spray yourself late. Full can in, mate. Dried chilies. Three. Garlic. Cloves. It's peeled and in as well. Don't worry about chopping them up because this is going to go all into a blender, right? Some salt. Got a teaspoon in. A teaspoon of thyme, dried thyme. Also a teaspoon of cumin. And same with the oregano. Teaspoon. And just some Mexican chili spice blend. Bit of teaspoon also. Mix that up. Now we want to cook this for around about five minutes, try and thicken it up. Okay, so we can see our sauce here is reduced and smelling unreal. Heat off on that. Chuck it in a blender without burning yourself, Blake. Nailed it! Now, some chipotle sauce. Two big teaspoons in there. You know what, I'm gonna a little bit more because I love it. You're crazy! Off to the blender you go. Lid on and hope for the best. Let that heat out a bit because I'm going to try a teaspoon, but not just yet. So clean that pan, back on the heat, a little bit of olive oil, in we go. One chopped up brown onion, sliced I should say. Cook them off. Okay, okay. You can pull this chicken out while those onions are cooking. It's been around 20 minutes. Just let that cool down. Then we'll chuck it in a bowl and rip it all up with a fork, all right? For now, I'll empty this and clean it out. You can keep this chicken stock, put it in a container or whatever, wait for it to cool down, then put it in the fridge and use it again. Beautiful, all right? Cool. We've cleaned the pot. So, vegetable oil. Just in there. Don't want heaps. Just enough to fill the bottom there, okay? Just enough though, I might. While that's heating up, Walk this guy up and just rip at it. All right, our pulled chicken ripped up. Our onions are looking beautiful. Chuck that in. Just want to mix it around. So, our sauce. Come out of here, mate. Beautiful. And just mix it in and around. And we'll cook that off for a couple of minutes. Just while we're waiting for that oil to heat up, just got some sour cream here. Beautiful. Voila, just like that. Put it one corner. Lovely, we'll cut that and we're ready. Put it back in the fridge so you're just good to go. Alrighty, tortilla in. So you just chuck a couple of these on and then you serve the shit up. Oh yeah, okay. Just do one at a time, guys. Take it out, drip dry on that and do it again. All right? All right, guys. So here they are, nice and crunchy. I've got a spicy chicken mix there. Oh my God. Nice one. I wish you guys could smell what's going on in here. The juice come off at night. Mm. Oops, sorry. Now, clubbing bag. Bit thick, but oh well. Oh. oh. Coriander. Just from the top there. Boom. 
Uh, Here's chicken tinga, guys. I mean, look at fucking that. Look at the juice running off it. Come into my mouth. Oh my God. I'm in love. Don't try that guys, half to try that. I'm Blake Mountain's Uncut Kitchen, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support, we'll see you next episode. Hey!